My name is Kelsey Russell. I am a realtor and I'm 27. Having the time to introspect and to reflect is important and it's allowed. I was always one of those people that I worked really, really hard career-wise and I always wanted to, you know, do more, be more, accomplish more. And I think yoga, it's really shown me that one of the best ways to get more of what we want and more fulfillment in life is to stop and be present and really listen to yourself rather than you know trying to do what the next person in your life is pushing you or encouraging you to do. So I get up early and I normally come to the morning class so I'm up between like 6 and 6.30. There's really no day that looks the same which is why it's really important for me to come here and kind of get grounded. Working out for me started in college and I did a lot of powerlifting and weightlifting and then um, I would go to yoga every now and then just to get like the stretching and the, the breath work and it felt like more of a treat than a workout. Then I got really into CrossFit and I always loved a challenge. I took the teacher training three years ago and within the last probably year I started coming back to yoga full time and really just loving the fact that I got, you know, I got the physical workout, I get stronger, I get, you know, the, the health and weight and wellness parts of it, but it's also just so good for the soul and the mind, so really kind of surrendering to the fact that that was what my body wanted and you know really enjoyed doing. So I came just for some drop-in classes. I would have a friend that was taking a class or wanted to take you know more of those stretching kind of relaxation classes. I just felt this pull to show up and be in the room and I think I I knew nothing about yoga. I just knew I wanted to learn more and I really felt like I wanted to be in a room where people were really intentional about getting to know themselves and getting to know a deeper level of you know, what they're meant to do here and who they wanna be. It was just that pull to take care of myself. You know, I think a lot of other forms of exercise, whether it's you know, powerlifting or CrossFit, I had this really unhealthy mentality of output and performance than it was about you know, just feeling good, moving my body, doing things that were good for me. Um, and the more that I did that, and the more you get skilled with the movements and the different poses, it does become a really good workout. So yoga for me, I think it's really about honoring the time that you need to reflect and to give yourself some space. I think so many of us just in Western culture, we are so driven by output and doing more. And this is a really beautiful space and community where you know, you can do what you need to do. You can, you can come in and you can really find your edge and work really hard and master that new pose, or you can come and just move your body and give yourself some grace. It was hard for me to do a lot of the poses, whereas now I just kind of listen for the cue or the, you know, mindset that makes sense. And the more I just do that and am curious about something rather than trying to master it, the more poses that I'm doing that I thought I would never be able to do. So I think I am definitely one of those busy people where I have to have yoga to kind of ground me and center me. And I think that it's practicing the pause. Like we hear that a lot in class and it's that idea of just giving yourself a moment to like be aware, be conscious, like just notice your thoughts and not react to them. Sit with them for a minute and I really believe that that pause is like what helps us to make the right actions in our life. My favorite part about Power Life is the fact that it's all for you. Kind of what I said about whether you need to find your edge or you need to find some grace in life. Um, I feel like every time I come to class there's a theme or there's a um, a statement that said that really changes my mindset makes me grateful for what I do have rather than always striving for more and I think it's just this really beautiful community where it's focused on how do we be content and happy and fulfilled right now but also you know allow ourselves to have more be more do more I would say to just do it just get on your mat you really deserve an hour to take care of yourself and I think so many of us are I always say we're human beings not human doings and so many of us are wrapped up in what do I need to be doing today and what's on my to-do list and coming here has really challenged me to be aware and kind of that notice what's going on around me who's in my life what am I motivated by what's on my to-do list that maybe shouldn't be. And finding that awareness and alignment um, really makes a huge difference. 
that awareness is the biggest part, but you have to get on your mat first. You have to like give yourself that hour.